by Joe Koizumi Photos by Naoki Fukuda Japanese Heavyweight Prospect WBO7 WBC17 Kaitaro Fujimoto 181 10 KOs 222.7 5 impressively retained his OPBF and WBO ASPAC Asia Pacific belts when he made good use of fast footwork and hand speed caught up with game Australian challenger OPBF4 Randall Raymond 84 3 KOs 233.7 5 and sunk him for the count at 250 of the fifth round. Raymond, having upset Herman Purcell who lost to Kaitaro via TKO route with the vacant WBO ASPAC belt on the line this July, was three inches taller and some ten pounds heavier than the fleet-footed champ. Fujimoto, who had the hair dyed red as usual, outlegged and outspeeded the taller challenger, dominating the first two rounds with ease. Raymond, however, turned loose in round three and attempted to corner or pin the champ to the ropes with roundhouse shots, winning the point. But Fujimoto displayed a fine retaliation with a sharp one at while punctuated by a solid left to the side of the belly and took back the initiative in the fourth. After the fourth, all the officials Asi Muhammad, Tai Surat and Ukrit saw at 3,937 in favor of Kayataro. The fifth witnessed Fujimoto accelerate his sharp attack and connect with a well-timed right following a left-right combo, badly dropping Raymond on the deck. The courageous Asi barely pulled himself up only to be counted out by Japanese referee Yuji Fukuchi. It's one of Kaitaro's finest performance shown after his K-1 career since 2011. The victor, Fujimoto confidently said, he'll go anywhere at any time to challenge Joseph Parker in quest of his WBO heavyweight belt. Even the loser Raymond praised his speed, saying, if Kayataro faces Parker, it may be a competitive fight since he has good judgment of distance and good timing. In rugby test matches, New Zealand has been always a mercilessly one-sided winner over Japan. But Fujimoto may or may not be competitive with the unbeaten New Zealander.